السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى we will continue with سورة الواقعة and today إن شاء الله we will have from verse number 27 up to verse number 40 من الآية السابعة والعشرين إلى الآية الأربعين إن شاء الله تعالى من هذه السورة from verse number 27 up to verse number 40 إن شاء الله from سورة الواقعة I'm going to read the آيات إن شاء الله and I'm going to leave a period of time between the ayah and the following one so you can inshallah repeat and try to memorize it and we are in the blessed month of Ramadan the month of the Quran that inshallah we will dedicate more time to the Quran reading, memorization, understanding and overall applying the meanings and the concepts and the lessons that we learn from the Quran to our daily life I'm going to read the ayat insha'Allah ta'ala and we'll go over the meaning insha'Allah azza wa jal. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa ashabu al-yameen ma ashabu al-yameen في سدر مخضود وطلح منضود وظل ممدود وماء مسكوب وفاكهة كثيرة لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة وفرش مرفوعة إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء فجعلناهن أبكارا عربا أترابا لأصحاب اليمين ثلة من الأولين وثلة من الآخرين. إن شاء الله I'm going to read the ayat again uh, with, without any period of time between the verses and the following one. So إن شاء الله you will be able إن شاء الله to correct the pronunciation starting from ayah number uh, 27 إن شاء الله from سورة الواقعة. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في سدر مخضود وطلح منضود وظل ممدود وماء مسكوب 
وفاكهة كثيرة لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة وفرش مرفوعة إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء فجعلناهن أبكارا عربا أترابا لأصحاب اليمين ثلة من الأولين وثلة من الآخرين Inshallah, these ayat that we have today talk about the second category of people as we mentioned in the beginning of this surah, Surah Al-Waqi'ah, that there are three categories of people that will be on the Day of Judgment. I think we still remember the first one, and this is the highest of them, that is Al-Muqarrabun, or As-Sabiqoon, As-Sabiqoon, Ula'ik Al-Muqarrabun, the forerunners the highest, the best of them. The second group that we are talking about today, those are Ashabu al-Yameen. Wa Ashabu al-Yameeni ma Ashabu al-Yameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about this group starting from ayah number 27 up to ayah number 40. Ashabu al-Yameen, the companions of the right, what are the companions of the right? I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what is going to happen to them? What are the blessings? In the last session, um, there was an explanation of the blessings and the bounties and all the pleasures that as uh, those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will have. In these ayat, here Allah azza wa jal will count all the blessings, or actually some of the blessings, that will be for those ashabu al-yameen, or the companions of the right those who will be on the right side or those who will take or will receive the book with the with the right hand and uh, those are the ones that might have restricted themselves to the obligatory actions they are not negligent of them as the man came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said o messenger of allah ara'ayta in sallaytu al-maktubat wa sumtu ramadan وأحللت الحلال وحرمت الحرام أدخل الجنة The man said, O Messenger of Allah If I do the five obligatory prayers The five daily obligatory and mandatory prayers And I fast the month of Ramadan And I deem what is uh, lawful as lawful And what is unlawful as unlawful Meaning that I follow Allah's commands if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees for something to be lawful and good for me, I will follow it and I will take it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees for something to be unlawful and it's, um, <coughs> it's evil for me, I will stay away from it and I will avoid it. Will I enter Jannah? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to him, yes, you will enter Jannah. The man even said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, azid ala dhalika. And I am not going to add anything to that. That means that he was going to restrict himself to the mandatory actions and the, the obligatory ones. And then he will not add optional deeds or anything like that. The Prophet wasallam said to him, yes, you will be one of the dwellers of Jannah. Now we will see here, my dear brothers and sisters and uh, everyone, um, We'll see here uh, uh, the blessings or the number of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had saved for Ashab al yameen the companions of the right. He said, Fi Sidrim Mahbud. And Sidr refers to the loot tree. And as we know about the loot tree, they might have thorns in them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, The loot tree and the fruits from this tree will not have any thorns. Mahdud meaning that the trees will have no thorns in the fruit or anywhere else. So they will be very beautiful and this fruit will be loved by everyone and it will be very uh, beautiful as far as um, enjoying the scene and as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
uh, mentioned about other types and different trees in Jannah. And inshallah, we will have a special subject to talk about the trees that are mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But he talked about one tree in Jannah that the person who is riding, um, let's say he's riding his horse or riding his ride, in order to uh, circulate or to go around this tree, he will need a time or a period of time uh, of 500 years. Or in order to go or to reach the end of the, of the, the shade of this tree, he will need at least 500 years of traveling distance. Subhanallah al-Azim. يعني شجرة يسير الراكب في ظلها 500 عام. Can you imagine how big will be the tree if someone is going to travel for 500 years just to reach the shade or the end of the shade of this tree? So one of the blessings of the Ashab al yameen in Jannah that they will have uh, the beautiful trees and one of the beautiful trees that they will have is the loot tree, Sidr Makhdud. And Talh Mandud, this is one type of the fruit that we know. It's the banana fruit. And the banana uh, trees, which are layered with the fruit. And you see how beautiful when the banana trees are layered with all the banana. And you see that beautiful scene. And, and the taste is, um, is, is different every day. And is more tasty, more delicious every single day than the day before. وطلح Mandud. And then the next one is وَظِلِّمْ مَمْدُودٍ The shade that is extended and as mentioned about the trees that the shade of the tree will be um, very long, will be like, I mean, I mean, you know, similar to an endless shade that the person will have to travel for a long time just to get the end of this shade. All these brothers and sisters describe for us how beautiful the Jannah is and it is worth it that we sacrifice every dear and near in our life for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to get the blessing of being admitted into Jannah. And one of the beautiful things and the blessings that the uh, Ashab al yameen will have in Jannah is ma'im maskub, the water which is poured out, the water which is not stand still, and jannat in tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. Subhanallah, uh, these rivers that run underneath the Jinan or underneath the heavens or the, par the, the gardens in Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described them in the Quran. Sometimes he says, Tajri tahtaha al-anhar. And sometimes he says, Tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. So what is the difference between both of them? When he says, Tajri min tahtiha al-anhar, which is like he's using the preposition min, like um, from uh, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that these rivers and these springs of water they uh, gush from somewhere else but they just uh, uh, run or they just flow under the gardens flow under the gardens so they do not gush from underneath the garden itself but when he says tajri tahtaha al-anhar without using the preposition min, it refers to the fact that these rivers and springs of water, they gush from underneath the garden and they run under the garden itself. So you have different types of river. Rivers that gush from far away and they run underneath the gardens to make it like so beautiful, very beautiful. And uh, rivers and, um, and, and, and springs of water that gush from underneath the gardens and run also underneath the gardens, make it very, very beautiful. Also, one of the blessings of the uh, 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 one of the blessings of Jannah that will be prepared for Ashab al yameen will be the fruits, the different types of fruits. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wafakihatin kathira," that uh, fruit which is abundant the fruit. It's not uh, just limited amount or a quantity of this fruit, it is unlimited amount of this fruit. It's fruit that is really abundant, that they are varied. They are from different types of fruits. And one good thing about these fruits, لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة. These fruits, 
they are not limited to a season. Like in this world, we have here certain types of fruit. They are limited to certain seasons. And if you if if it happens that you get uh, uh, these or this fruit in in a, in a season which is not their season, what will happen? The taste is not going to be the same. The taste is not going to be the same. It's going to be different. It is not going to be as good as when you get it during its season. But in Jannah, the issue and the case of the fruit is completely different. The fruits in Jannah, they are not limited to a season, meaning that the taste of the fruit gets better every single day, and it's not limited to a single season or a, a certain season. Um, it is during the whole year. You can get the fruit at any time, whenever you like it, whenever you want it, you will find it and you will see it. And as we said before about the nature of the fruits in Jannah, that they are daniya, and they are close to the person. The one who is walking can cut them, can, 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 uh, can get them. The one who is lying down can get them. The one who is uh, sitting down can also reach them. So it is reachable in any situation and in any position. And overall, they are not forbidden. So they are not limited to a season and they are not forbidden. They are available all the time. Whenever they are provided with any fruits, they will say, we have been given this before. But the angels will tell them, eat and enjoy because the, uh, the the color is the same but the taste is different every day is a better taste than the taste before it and then they will have also thrones and beds that are raised high prepared for them and they will have spouses in Jannah pure clean spouses very beautiful spouses in Jannah that are prepared for Ashab al -yameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, all these blessings, they are for Ashab al yameen And they are being prepared for them for all the good deeds and the righteous actions that they, have, they, used, to have, uh, they used to perform in this life. Although they did not reach the position of the Muqarrabeen um, or as sabiqeen but still they have all these blessings in Jannah. And this group of Ashab al yameen my dear brothers and sisters, they are not like the first group. The first group Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about them, ثُلَّةٌ مِّنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنَ الْآخِرِينَ He said about them that a company from the former people and few from the later generations. But Ashab al yameen will be so many. There will be a company from the former people and there will be also a company from the later peoples or the later generations. So, ثُلَّةٌ مِّنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَثُلَّةٌ مِّنَ الْآخِرِينَ And we are living nowadays um, uh, in, in, in the blessed month of Ramadan, the month of fasting, the month of the Qur'an, the month of all the blessings, the month of all the um, obedience and worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should make sure that we are using our time properly during this month and we are benefiting from every single minute during the month of Ramadan. Make sure to do the adhkar in the morning. Make sure to read one juz from the Quran every day. Listen to one juz from the Quran every day. And in order to make it easy for my brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm uh, uh, reciting one juz from the Quran every day, and it is available on our YouTube channel. So you can listen to this one, and you can read uh, also after you listen to the Quran. doesn't take that much time to listen to it, and also to read it. Busy your time with something that is really useful, and is going to be in the scale of our good deeds with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment. Yani we ask Allah to make us from the muqarrabeen, uh, and, and those who are very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and um, also we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us during this month of Ramadan to perform more and more of the worships and to make it a turning point in our life that we will start as a starting point from, from this month, the month of Ramadan and to make sure that it is really used uh, uh, properly and it is really uh, used in, in a way that will benefit us and make us 
good servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, the main goal of the fasting is to be pious and righteous person. كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. Inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to read the ayat again. Um, these ayat from uh, verse number 27 up to verse number uh, 40 from Surah Al-Waqi'ah. And I want you to follow me so inshallah we can memorize them and have the blessing of the month of Ramadan to uh, memorize the Quran, uh, read the Quran, understand the Quran, and apply the Quran to our daily life inshallah ta'ala. <clears throat> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في سدر مخضود وطلح منضود وظل ممدود وماء مسكوب وفاكهة كثيرة لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة وفرش مرفوعة إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء فجعلناهن أبكارا عربا أترابا لأصحاب اليمين ثلة من الأولين وَثُلَّةٌ مِّنَ الْآخِرِينَ Inshallah, uh, we will meet again, inshallah, to um, continue with the ayat of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit us from the Qur'an and to make us from the true followers of the Qur'an. May Allah accept from us our fasting, our recitation of the Qur'an, our ibadat, our salah, and our dua. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us from those who listen to the words and follow the best of them. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ulayk. Wal asr inna al-insana lafi khusr. Illa al-lazina amanu wa amalu al-salihat. Wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-sabr. Jazakum Allahu khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.